Okay, the fourth basic uh, type of component that I want you guys to be able to use for your user interfaces is an image. I want you to be able to load and display an image on the window that you create. Uh, to do that, the first thing, of course, that you're going to need to do is either create or more likely uh, find and download the picture that you want to use for your program. Um, you should save these pictures into the folder where your project is located. So my folder uh, is Interface Basics in my Eclipse workspace. And of course, there's a source folder within there that has all my .java files in it. And I also created a new folder that I called Images, and I saved my picture there. My picture is called Minecraft Alex and Steve .png. In JavaFX, you can use .png files, you can use .gif files, and you can use .jpg files. To display an image takes two steps. The first thing we have to do is load the image, and the second thing we have to do is create the control that will actually show it on the window. Uh, so step number one to load the image looks like this. You're going to say, I want to make an image and give it a name. I just call it picture. Uh, and that's going to be a new image. Now to create a new image, you have to tell JavaFX a couple of things. Let's dissect this line here. First of all, I have to tell it what the file name of the picture is. So you type file colon, and then you put the name of the folder where you saved it. So I saved it in the images folder, like I just talked about. Put a slash, and then put the name of the picture. So my picture was Minecraft Alex and Steve .png. Uh, The next couple arguments are going to be uh, the width and the height of the picture. Although it looks strange that I put zero for the height, what I'm saying is uh, I want this picture to be scaled to a width of 200 pixels and a height that matches that width given the original size of the picture. Uh, the original picture is much bigger than 200 pixels wide. I think it was something like 1,000 pixels wide. I don't want it to be displayed that large, so I put in the width that I actually want and I'm letting JavaFX calculate a height to match that. Uh, you can go the other way and say zero for the width and then say the height that you'd want. I want this one to actually be 300 pixels tall, let's say. Then JavaFX will calculate what width should match that size. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch that back because I want it to be 200 pixels wide. Um, then you need to give two uh, Boolean arguments. The first one here says you want JavaFX to scale the picture using the width and height, like I was just talking about. So always put this one as true. And then the second one, if you are changing the size of the picture, which we almost always are, do you want them to use a smooth look to that scaling, or do you want them to use the more pixelated look to that scaling. I don't know why anybody would ever put false for this second argument. So I always almost almost always put these two arguments just true, true. Yes, I want to scale the picture, and yes, I want it to look good. That's basically what you're saying there. Now that you have the picture loaded, uh, the second step is to create the object that you can actually place into the scene so that the picture gets displayed. And that looks like this. Uh, let me see here. This might take me a few steps back. There it is. Um, to actually see the image, you need to use an image view object. That's what you place into your scene. So I create an image view object. I call it picture viewer or whatever you want to name it equals new image view. And what image is this image view going to be based off of? So I'm basing it off of that original picture. You can actually create more than one image view from the same image. Um, to place the image viewer, picture viewer dot relocate, the same as all of the other ones. Uh, image viewers do not have all the same methods that the other objects I've talked about have, but you can relocate them the same way you do all the other ones. And that's it. That's all you need to do to load and display an image.